My accident happened February 4, 2022. We had to head on collision with another vehicle, which left me paralyzed waist down. In Egypt's accident, she was wearing her seatbelt, suffered a spinal cord injury, and then ended up here with us with a thoracic level spinal cord injury. When I woke up from the medicine, I I really I just really looked at my leg and like thought about like I'm really paralyzed and like my life like on hold basically. So a lot of people when they first get here, they're still taking it all in and they really haven't adjusted to any bit of their injury yet. If you can imagine, if you're not moving from, say, below your waist, then how do you get from point A to point B? How do you get your clothes on? How do you turn in bed? And so during her time here, she would do physical therapy, occupational therapy, and relearn all of the things that she was doing independently before. We don't know what would have happened had she not been wearing her seatbelt. But a lot of people that come here, I say, look, you're really the lucky of the unlucky. You know, you're unlucky in that you even got into a car accident, but you're really lucky that you survived it. When I was younger, my parents like always told me, make sure you put your seatbelt on when you get in, when you get in the car with anybody. And that day, I'm glad I put my seatbelt on because my injury could have been worse. 